Um, sorry, I had that back to front. Um, uh, hi everyone. Um, I was. Uh, I just uh, wanted to come on quick because um, um, I received a message uh, through my spirit talker um, about, and it's brought up um, heretics fork. And I looked at that, and it's a game that um, that's played online, um, and it's uh, encouraging people to. Um, the game is um, like to um, take action, like in the game, you take action to uh, punish sinners. And uh, I'm bringing this up because it, the way it came up on my um, my app was. Um, a real negative um, energy and it finished with um, saying that um, that it had the ability to bring um, the spirit that was talking had the ability to bring in the cold um, uh, in the name of death and uh, um, you know like it's like and it says tonight so um, I'm gonna bring pull some cards on this like and because you know like it's trying to instill fear right so I feel like through the app there's negative energies coming through and somehow it's coming through this game called the um, heretics fork so if you research that um, I think it's uh, not something that we should be uh, messing with um, I think there could be negative energies because it also came up in the um, in, in the information on this game that it, it, it even touched on the idea of overpopulation and it's encouraging people I think in the real world that you know like to take on board this idea of overpopulation and that we need to actually eliminate sinners that's not our responsibility to do that that's god's responsibility when we're not um here to judge people because people can change right people can change their um, behaviors by learning by learning and um I, i'm concerned about this game so that anybody else is um, concerned about this, uh, leave leave a comment. Um, I'm going to do a, a reading on it and just see what um, it says to us, right? Okay, so I'll bring up. Uh, I'll first I'll first bring up um, a couple of oracles um, with the um, the moon oracle, queen of the moon oracle by Stacy DeMarco. I'll start with that, okay? So, let me lighten up any roses I've got today. On a nice positive note, um, we've got to keep those energies up, keep the um, vibration up. We've got to not let, um, like, these messages that come through uh, uh, make us fearful, because fear brings energies, right? So if we're fearful of anything, it brings in um, negative energies. Uh, they want us to fear, um, so let's not fear and um, keep our vibrations up and um, stay positive. Okay. So let's just little bring a little read on this. Um, heretics fork. The messages I got from Heretics fork. Tell me about this. Holy oh, Spirit. Let's, 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 let's do a little prayer first. Holy Spirit, who is in heaven, hallowed be thy name. To kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Please bring us today our daily bread. Forgive us of our sins as we have forgiven those who have sinned against us. Because we're all sinners, right? Uh, no one can tell us to be out there, um, you know, punishing sinners. Uh, that's not our right. 
we have forgiven those who have sinned against us as forgiveness. Um, lead us not into temptation and deliver us from all evil. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. Rebuke all negative energies in this read. Please protect Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Please protect uh, those that are listening to this read and myself whilst I do this read. And, and all the other times, please. And my poor old dog here, Jack, I think he's copped it. Um, the negative energy's been projected at him as well, so I can't get to... Uh, if they can't get to us, they, uh, they try targeting our um, loved ones, uh, animals, our kids, uh, you know, um, protect them all. Please, Holy Spirit, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Okay, let's go on here. Let's go on. Um, oh, hang on a minute, I just, uh, I just feel the need, I better, uh, just doing a little bit of hella sun so as well and clear the energy. Sorry, should I should have done that before. Let's just add a little bit of this. Yes, Jack, you're protected too. Jack is my uh, dog. He hurt his knee the other day. And he's getting old. And he's in a lot of pain now. Um, I did put, um, I used um, some sound frequencies uh, for uh, pain relief. Um, and I uh, turn it on at night time for his pain and it does give him relief. Like he was uh, whining like you wouldn't believe, like he was in a lot of pain. And then once I put the frequencies on, he just, yeah, he settled, right? It does work. You can, um, you can go online and you can, um, uh, I, I, I probably need to, um, because you know, you need to be aware too of some of the frequencies can have, uh, you know, like subliminal messaging that you need to be aware of. So you m must make sure um, you are understanding the frequencies that you are ingesting. Really do, do your research on the frequencies. What frequencies? what energies we are dealing with. We need to be very, very aware of what we're dealing with and what's coming into our energies in um, various ways, you know. Because when we open ourselves up to energy, you know, we must be um, very, very aware of where the negative energies will try to penetrate our um, minds. And this is where this sort of boundaries come in. I just do need to know how it's right. Yeah, we need to assess, assess everything all the time. Um, assess the energies that are coming to us, the messages that we're receiving, 
the messages that were projected as well. Tell us about this heritage. Oh, heritage fork again. Please do some research on this heritage fork. These games that are being uh, you know, like they're targeting our communities, our spiritual communities. Okay, so we've got hunger and creation. The creator in realities, right? And this hunger moon. I'm going to just have a look at that one. Because I don't I haven't I haven't studied this book. I only go off the energy, but I want to look at this hunger with the wolf. So we have the wolf and the moon. Um, hunger, I want to um, bring it up in this big 21. Okay. Okay, hunger, it says, um, feel the good and hope within you. Yeah, so we've got to keep those energies up, right? There will always be a moon part of the circle. Prosperity will come. Do not let your hunger blindly dictate your actions entirely. Yeah, so don't don't um, uh, uh, give away um, give away your your own ability to feel and assess. Uh, so, like when we um, when we're calling on um, other energies or asking other energies, calling on something, right, to um, help guide us. Um, we've got to be very, very mindful of, um, of um, what is being dictated to us. Um, like when I, I had this message come through about the, I, I'm not sure whether the message was coming through to warn me of this energy, um, Uh, of this game, I knew nothing about this game, and there was another one that I picked up the other day, and it was a card. What was that? It was another one, and it was uh, very. Um, uh, it was an oracle card that came up. How did that come up? It was another game that you can buy, and um, it's energy was really dark and um and this is what worries me like you know when people are being influenced by you know like what they are in, in, in ingesting in the way of information online um and what games they're playing i think these games um, you know like um can move from the 2d and uh, influence people in the 3d to take action when um, the action is not uh, not um, our place to to do so, uh, like so, we have to um, be mindful to use our own discernment um, when taking action in any way, uh, not be you know like overly influenced by outside energies projecting uh, ideas and. Um, Allowing others to manipulate our energies <coughs> to give us uh, negative messages to respond in um, negative ways. So please um, keep um, your boundaries um, guarded, right? An old and wise Cherokee of the First Nation of the U.S. is speaking to his grandson about life. A young boy asks his grandfather, It is said, grandfather, that everyone has two wolves within them. The first wolf gives darkness, despair and hate and jealousy and sorrow. The second wolf gives light and hope and helpfulness and kindness. Yet, grandfather, I feel them fighting within me. What can I do? So, yeah, these are fighting with these messages that, um, that we're receiving, right? My small son... 
These two wolves will always fight. They will fight within each person. You are no different, said the grandfather. But, said the boy, grandfather, which wolf will win? And the grandfather answers, whichever wolf you feed. So there you go. So whichever um, energy we, we um, engage with, this is what we're going to um, receive. So whatever we put out, we receive, right? Um, so I don't know why um, I received those messages today, but um, and I sort of think, uh, yeah, well, maybe it was um, a message from my um, my guides to do this video and bring this up. So um, we must be careful about what we nourish and feed within ourselves. So what did I just say, right? If we give abundance to the aspects of the self that can harm others and ourselves, then we cannot truly thrive. Having no limitations upon these behaviours and patterns hurts us and starves, starves the higher and finer parts of ourselves that will bring us more happiness. To ripple the happiness to others is part of why we are on the planet as humans. Yeah, so, you know, we have to project the uh, positive aspects of ourselves uh, into the world so that ripples on to others um, in positive ways. We don't need to be out there, um, you know, claiming um, righteousness and to go around um, punishing sinners or what we perceive as sinners you know that's not our responsibility that is um, that's that's God's responsibility that, that's not what we're here for we're here to only um, you know like give guidance uh, in, in positive um, you know like on, on earth uh, as it is in heaven right that's what we need that's what we want to feed and nourish ourselves with is what what is heaven what what is that to us um, it's certainly not um, vengeful okay so if we give abundance to the aspects of the self that can harm others and ourselves then we cannot truly thrive so we won't thrive if we go around uh, with these uh, negative energies Having no limitations upon these behaviours and patterns hurts us and starves the higher and finer parts of ourselves that will bring us more happiness. To ripple the happiness to others is part of why we are on the planet as humans. We must also recognise that in life, just because it is a cycle, there will always be leaner, less abundant or less bright times. Yet we have built our resilience and self-trust for times like this and we know we are both loved and protected and we know that we're loved and protected then those negative energies can't penetrate us right? and look and, and I, I, I admit that um, you know like I was um, taken aback by getting this message um, that yeah I, I, I just went yeah no I am protected right I am protected the cycle will soon turn to less sh uh, shadow and more bounty. Amazonite is the um, companion stone um, for this situation. Um, so, when you um, when you have real faith in um, when you have real faith in God. And your protection from God and your spirit guides, then you don't fear um, those negative energies because your faith is stronger. Like if your faith is weak, that's when other energies can penetrate you and change your behaviours. So when you are truly, um, uh, when you are really truly trusting God, uh, you don't. Um, it can't um, pollute your energy. All right, you can't be pollute. You can't be polluted when your faith 
is um, pure. And, and I'm afraid that these games are, you know, like being proje projected towards people that have got no or beliefs or um, real faith in anything. Uh, or, you know, like they tend towards a darker um, side of things because 